what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about it chapter 3 aka welcome to dairy or i should say aka it chapter 3 we'll be talking about the exorcist and then we'll be talking about chucky season 3 just to kick it off with scream 6 scream 6's ghost face is something different and there's never been one like them before so the question is why does this difference that i always hear about from the tv spots and i see it in the fandom why does that difference have to come from the motive <laughs> what i mean by that is when you ignore the blatant differences in the trailer and the tv spots to then consider the motive then you're just again discrediting the differences that are in your face for instance we have never had a killer who completely seems to not care about sydney prescott a killer who has stolen evidence um a killer who has a shrine or layer type of location of uh, a killer who just seems very skilled unlike the clumsiness clumsiness you might have seen before all of that is different and it stands out in the footage we've seen so far i do want to shout out zach cherry really quick who did a great video related to the motive possibilities and pointing out how the motives are never these over-the-top schemes so logically shouldn't we expect the same thing from scream 6 a motive that is simple and grounded but still works so what i'll say to that is yes you should you you should accept accept something accept and expect something that is grounded and not over the top we haven't had too many motives that are these over the top shenanigans in the past we just have it not even jill richie and ambers are that over the top they, they they just aren't as far as this recent interview that came out from tyler gillette i think that's an interview that several people should check out it's not just tyler gillette it's the whole radio silence team actually where they talk about what made ghostface different and it's kind of along the lines of what i was already picking up on in the trailers i'll leave a link to that in the description for you to see what makes ghostface different in this upcoming movie to the directors and the other member of radio silence uh chad valella now just to jump into chucky season three Chucky season three apparently reportedly will start filming in April and will last through August according to a report from the Midgard Times as per the official schedule Chucky season three will begin filming on April 27th in Toronto and will take four months to officially wrap on August 28th 2003 Chucky season three is currently scheduled to premiere sometime in fall 2023 we know Chucky season three got announced earlier this year and the cast, they literally wasted no time letting us know that they'd be headed back to Canada for more shenanigans. Jennifer Tilly shared a post, Don Mancini, I believe, shared a post of the three kids. This quick turnaround obviously meant Mancini planned for three ahead of time. He was teasing this in some interviews that came out after season two's finale aired. And that's exactly what we ended up learning from the man himself not too long ago. Season three was already in the works. Season three was pretty much already written, it seems like. And they were just waiting for that official announcement. Now, as for these filming dates, if anyone wants to counter what this report claims, then let me know down in the comments. I'm sure some of you might have access to production weekly. Uh, what are you most excited about? excited for when it relates to all things chucky season three also what is going to happen with nico will she work alongside chucky to take out tiffany that's definitely going to be touched on in season three mancini himself has already teased what we can expect to happen with nika and tiffany going into season three more so i think it was tiffany he was making comments about in this report i'm thinking about from bloody disgusting we also definitely definitely need a resolution for caroline after she went to the dark side at the end of season two to kind of understand where she's at and how this is going to progress going forward for her i'm pretty sure she's going to be brought back over to the good side uh, because she's just a child and she's being manipulated and she's been lied to so hopefully her sister Lexi can touch her heart and we can get Caroline back on the proper side of things not on Chucky's side as much as we all like Chucky we know that's the wrong side to be on <laughs> so just to jump into the second to last topic related to Welcome to Dairy the Midgard Times is also reporting that Welcome to Dairy the prequel series coming to HBO Max will begin filming on may 1st 2023 in toronto and will take around eight months to officially wrap up on december 21st 2023 the first season of the series is expected to have eight to ten episodes welcome to dairy is likely to release sometime in 2024 set in the 1960s welcome to dairy follows four kids in a town bordering an air force base with a mysterious special projects bunker who search for a friend of theirs who who disappeared mysteriously Similar to this Chucky update, I want to point out that this information is probably originated from Production Weekly when it comes to those filming dates. As for the plot specifics, 
If anyone, yes, wants to do some digging into the Midgard times to try to see where this information of theirs is coming from, uh, you can let me know down in the comment section below because I will say that none of this is confirmed. We will find out if this is all legitimate, if it actually comes to fruition. If anyone has access to Production Weekly, you can also check for Welcome to Dairy updates there, of course. I remember reports came out saying that they would like to try to recreate the Losers Club through New Kids. So we'll see if that ends up being true and if that ends up working out for them when this show airs. There's still no word on if Bill Skarsgård will officially return as Pennywise, but of course, that's the expectation. And I will say that Andrew Muschietti is still set to direct, or Andy Muschietti, I meant to say, is still set to direct the pilot episode like it was first reported uh, way back when, a, a couple months ago. So, what are you hoping for when it comes to Welcome to Dairy? What do you want to see out of this prequel series that takes place before the first two movies that we got in 2017 and 2019? Let me know down in the comment section below. So, we're going to conclude this video by talking about David Gordon Green's The Exorcist. So, David Gordon Green's Exorcist sequel, which I believe was stalled in its production not too long ago, like late last year, early this year, uh, has now regained filming or has resumed production, according to a report from Deadline, who reports this morning that Olivia McCro or Markham is the latest actor to join the cast. Markham is joining Leslie Odom Jr., uh, Lydia Jewett, or Lida Jewett, and Dowd and Ellen Burstyn. Odom Jr. will play the father of, of a possessed child. Desperate for help, he tracks down Mrs. Burstyn's character. Now, when it comes to what we have to expect with The Exorcist, Halloween Ends just left me left me with a little to lukewarm, little to lukewarm feeling towards any other horror project from David Gordon Green. I'm someone who liked that movie, and I'm still a little concerned about The Exorcist. <laughs> I just think that The Exorcist is a. I, I'll go out and say that I think The Exorcist is a better crafted movie in some aspects than compared to that original Halloween Halloween film. That's why I think I'm a little bit more concerned about David Gordon Green and his approach with this. We'll we'll see if um, this all works out for him. But I just hope that this Exorcist sequel is something that's fantastic, similar to how that 2018 movie wasn't a fantastic movie, but at least it was, you know, one of the better sequels that we've gotten out of the pile of trash. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.